Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to use your smartphone as a remote control for your Google Nexus player or uh, any Google TV operating system uh, TV uh, bo Android box. Okay, so any box with the Google TV operating system, you can control that with the uh, with this, this method. So if you follow my channel previously, I talked about how to uh, reconnect your remote control to Google Nexus Player. Because if you have a problem, your Google Nexus Player remote control is not working, 90% of the time, it's just the Bluetooth connection is broken. You just have to reconnect, right? But if it's really broken, you tried everything, it's not working, then here's the software method that can allow you to control your Google Nexus Player without the remote control. Okay, so it's, uh, so this is basically, you can see the app here, it's called Google TV, that's the app from Google. Previously it's called Google Movies and, and TV, something like that, but it's now rebranded to Google TV. So it's, you can download it or it, it should be already on your phone for most Android uh, smartphones. So you can just launch Google TV, this is the screen you, you see. Okay, so you can see on the right bottom, there's a TV remote uh, button, floating window, right? So you just click on that TV remote, and this is what you see. It was, uh, it will try to select the device. It will try to scan all available devices on your Wi-Fi network, right? So just wait for it to, to find something, then it uh, will show you the device. Okay, so you can see here it found the Nexus player. Okay, so you just have to pair, right? So basically, you just click pair, and then on the, uh, the already paired it, but uh, the first time you pair it on on your real TV box, the Nexus Player on the on the TV screen, it will show you a uh, six digit code. You just enter it uh, here on the on the smartphone, and that that shows you this screen that's showing. By default, it actually shows you the swipe control. Okay which is not as intuitive or as you used to on your Nexus Player remote control, okay? So this is basically, you can do left, right, up and down, so it's basically just like a touchpad, okay? But if you're using, you've been using your Nexus Player for a long time, then it probably is better to switch, just click on the right top corner on this uh, menu, and instead of swipe control, change it to D-pad control which is exactly what you see on your remote for the Nexus player. So this uh, you have left, right, up and down, and in the middle is the OK button, right? And um, below it, there's the this left arrow, which is cancel or back. And in the middle, it is uh, home, to go to the home screen. right? And then the, on the right, there is the, uh, the voice control. And uh, also this, um, you can see this, this software remote control has better functions, for such as on the top, it has a uh, power button, which the real physical remote control lacks. It has no uh, power button. This one does have a power button. So if you click on that, your Nexus player will just basically go to sleep. It never really shuts down, but uh, it will go to sleep. And uh, when you need to enter something, there's also a keyboard button. So this is another uh, advantage of having the software remote control. And you, you can enter alphabetical like uh, entries uh, without having to connect this a different uh, kind of a Bluetooth or USB keyboard. So yeah, so this is pretty much the same thing as your remote control, only better. So you will never have to use a real remote control again for your Nexus player or any Google TV device. And that's it. Thanks for watching.